Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I got three really easy tips that if you follow them, you'll be able to fix your credit this year. So you better stay tuned. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh. Da -da -da -da. All right, guys, so let's get into the three tips that are going to help you fix your credit. And from fixing credit for four years now, I've learned that it is possible and it's somewhat easy to fix your credit on your own. You can do it, but you got to have the right knowledge. You got to have the right advice and you got to be willing to, to actually put in the work to make it happen. So I'm going to give you three easy tips that if you follow these I mean, it's pretty much destined that you're going to fix your credit. There's pretty much, you know, no, uh, no other way around it if you stick to it. So let's get right into it. So tip number one is going to be replace all your bad habits with good habits. And I'm talking about the ones that affect your credit. So just stick with me. And I want you to just try this for 30 days because it might, it might be a lot of bad habits you got to overcome. But so one bad habit can be you're sitting on the toilet scrolling social media, you look up and a whole hour has passed by. Don't tell me you have never done it because I do it all the time. So instead of scrolling social media, here's what you need to do. Log into your credit monitoring app, pull up your credit report, and rather than spend that time scrolling on social media, see what you can scroll through in your credit report and find out something that's going to actually be something you can work on that's going to take your, your credit score to another level. So that can look like you logging in, seeing what negative accounts you still have on your credit, finding a collection, finding a charge off, knowing that, okay, until I address that, my credit is probably not going to improve. So, or logging in there, looking and seeing, oh man, my credit card utilization is still at 40 something percent. Maybe I should make a payment and get that down to 30 percent or under. Those are just two ways you can do that. So replace scrolling on social media with scrolling through your credit report and seeing what you can find out. Another bad habit, and I've been guilty of this as well, is excessively eating out because it's killing your money. And it's almost like this, this weird just like effect where if you eat out and you spend $15 to $20 today, you're not going to feel it today. You're going to feel it once you've done that five times a week and then 20 times a month. And then that 15 to $20 turns into like $400 over the course of a month. And now you don't have the money to pay your car note. So now you're behind on that. Now you got a late payment. And it's just this thing that you kind of never get caught up on. So instead of the excessive eating out, spending 15 to $20 on fast food, try either bringing your lunch or try to lower that $20 amount that you might be spending throughout the day down to like $5. So then instead of spending 20 times $5, $100 a week, you're only spending five times five, which is 25. And don't try to tell me that you can't spend just $5 on, on lunch because you can, especially if you got a goal to fix your credit. It's a temporary sacrifice that's going to give you a huge benefit. If you need some tips on where to go eat at, Drop it in the comments or email me. I'll put the email in the uh, in the YouTube notes. But uh, but that is you know what you got to start doing: replacing those bad habits with good habits. And that's just one of the uh, the three tips. The second tip is gonna be you need to stop procrastinating. And what do I mean by that? You know what I mean by that. So if you're sitting around and you're knowing you need to fix your credit, but you're not doing anything about it, you're continuing to watch Netflix, continuing to just go out and party and do this and that, but you're never, ever doing anything that's going to move yourself forward, you're just sitting around procrastinating. You might be making up excuses like, well, I don't know how to fix my credit or I don't have the time to fix my credit. And all those are just excuses. Trust me. You can fix your credit if you just spent 10 minutes a day on it. The example I just gave about sitting around scrolling, you know, on social media while you're sitting on the toilet, you can fix your credit on the toilet. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm not making this up. You can literally type dispute letters right from your phone. You don't need a computer. You don't have to hire a credit repair company. All you got to do is be willing to do it. 
I use an app called Canva. You might know it for a lot of different things. I want to say maybe I pay like $13 a month for it. Can't, can't really remember because it just comes out automatically. But I type dispute letters on Canva right from my phone. I've used the export feature to where you can export it to a PDF file. I've emailed that PDF file to myself. And then I went to like a FedEx, a Office Depot, a UPS store, or something like that, sent it to them. And then I printed it out, took it to the post office and I mailed it off. So you literally can fix your credit right from the phone without even having to go to a computer. Cause I've had, I've heard it all. Oh, well I gotta go borrow a friend's computer so I can type my letters. I gotta go to the library. I gotta take off work. I gotta, no, no. If you can sit on the toilet and scroll social media, you can fix your credit. So stop telling yourself that it's not true. You can do all this right from the phone. And I'm pretty sure Word, Microsoft Word, might have an app to where you can do this right from your phone too. I never used it. I've only used Canva. So download Canva if you need to and go ahead and start, stop procrastinating and start typing out these uh, dispute letters. And so now here's tip number three. And this is my favorite one because I feel like this is the one that's really going to have the most impact. And if you read this book called Atomic Habits, you already know what I'm about to say because it's one of the, the best principles, I think, from the book. And it's focusing strictly on the inputs and not the outputs. If you're trying to reach an outcome like a 700 credit score, don't just sit around and think about the 700 credit score because you're not going to get there. You can't think your way into having a higher credit score. You have to do the actions that it's gonna take to get the 700 credit score. So don't focus so much on the score you're trying to get to, focus on all the little activities that are gonna get you to the 700 score, write them all down and then just start doing them. I mean, to get there, you might be at a 500 score right now and you see that, all right, boom, I got collections. I need to dispute these collections, just focus on that. I got inquiries. I need to dispute the inquiries. Just focus on that. I need to pay down my credit cards. Focus on that. Don't ever think about the score. Just think about fixing every little thing that's negative on your profile and just doing that. And it might take more than just cleaning things up. It might take you actually having to kind of build some things as well. If you have a, a weaker credit profile, meaning like you got one credit card and one card note and that's it all right, that's, that's not enough. You need to focus on building more credit. Maybe get a self-lender account. Maybe get a, a furniture account to where you can uh, finance some furniture. Start getting additional things that you can pay on that are going to report to your credit. If you're an apartment renter, get rent reporters. You can report your apartment rent directly on your credit report. Just focus on building more credit. But again, as you're doing that, don't sit around thinking, all right, 700 credit score, 700 credit score. Like, do not think about that. Just think strictly inputs. What do I need to do that's going to get me the outcome that I desire? Don't think about the outcome. Just focus on the inputs. If you do that, I promise you, and if you do it over time, there's no way that you're not going to fix your credit because, I mean, it's, it's pretty much just inevitable at that point. So to recap, tip number one, you're going to replace all your bad habits with good habits. Tip number two, you're going to stop procrastinating. You're going to get to work right now. So if you're sitting on the toilet right now watching this, when you get done, log out of me and log into your credit monitoring app. And then tip number three, do not focus on the score you want. Don't focus on the goal. Just focus on the inputs it's going to take to get you to that goal. And hope this video helped. If you like it, subscribe, comment. If you want to see more types of videos, be sure to drop that in the comments as well. I appreciate you for tuning in. Peace.